March 14 was not just about celebrating Pi, for it also happens to be the birth anniversary of Albert Einstein, an occasion to remember and celebrate his groundbreaking discoveries. To do that, I'm now joined by Professor Thibaut Damour of the Institut des Hautes Etudes Scientifiques. Thank you very much, Professor Damour, for your time. Thank you. How do you think we should remember Einstein on his birth anniversary? So, uh, as a physicist, uh, for sure Einstein is for all of us, especially theoretical physicists, but also experimental physicists, the greatest giant of physics of the 20th century, and we are all dwarfs standing on his shoulders. So, every day I remember that all my work depends on what he has given us. We should also, by the way, remember that Today is also the anniversary of the death of Stephen Hawking, an important theoretical physicist who worked along Einstein's ideas. What has been the impact of the two theories of relativity which Einstein discovered in the early 20th century? The impact has been enormous. The first theory of relativity, now called special theory of relativity, has been the basis of all the development of in particle physics, all the quantum field theory and particle physics developments of the 20th century have been based on being compatible with Einstein's theory of special relativity, E equal mc squared being just one very small aspect of all this uh, domain of research, and the theory of general relativity, which at the beginning were considered by many people like a beautiful object of art but not something useful, has turned out to be an extremely important element of our description of the universe because now the Big Bang, gravitational waves, black holes, I mean, many uh, discoveries in astrophysics are based on Einstein's theory of general relativity. He also made very important contributions to physics besides the two theories of relativity. Can you please elaborate on them? Yes, I'm glad to mention this because, as Max Born said, even if Einstein had not written one line on any theory of relativity, he would be still the greatest theoretical physicist of the 20th century by his discoveries in quantum physics. He was really the one to introduce uh, the quantization uh, of many aspects of, of matter, of uh, oscillators actually, and especially the quantization, the granularity structure of light. He invented the concept of quantum light. For 20 years, most people did not believe in what he was saying, that light was made of quanta, but he was right. <laughs>